Good morning everybody and welcome back to Visit Fell Coast. Today we're going to look at Blackpool's other tower. Well, one of Blackpool's other towers. This is Warbreck Water Tower. And in case you're wondering where it is, you can find it off Warbreck Hill Road. So this here is Devonshire Road, I think, yeah? Um, <clears throat> so this, this road that we're actually standing on at the moment is Lays Road. And we're just round the back of the rock gardens. So that kind of orientation. It's one of few high places in this area. And it's a very well-known local landmark. It's something that, that everybody recognises. You can see it right from the seafront. And it was built in 1932 for filed waterboard. And we've had an article on our Live Blackpool website for, for quite a long time about the water tower and there are photographs in of the inside of it and I've actually I've actually got one of them with me so I'm going to show you what this what this edifice looks like when you get inside so you might wonder where the water that we drink here in Blackpool and on the Fowl Coast comes from well it comes from Barnacre Reservoir at Longridge near Preston which is 16 miles away because if you think about it, there aren't any reservoirs around here, are there? And we've all got to drink water, and I don't think we're going, we're going to want it out of the sea. And it holds 114,000 cubic metres of water when it's full. Now, am I right in thinking, somebody, somebody must know the answer to this, that the bit that holds the water, the tank, is the bit right at the very top there? Because my understanding of water towers is that the water's pumped to the top, which gives it a head height and enables it to flow and fill the pipes in the, the surrounding area. When it's full, the weight of it is 43.84 times the weight of the metalwork in Blackpool Tower. Water is incredibly heavy. I don't know whether you've ever seen, there's a ton of water outside they are in a live station in Blackpool um, and it's not it's not that big a space so we are 37.5 meters no the water ta the water tower put my teeth in is 37.5 meters above ground so to the top it's it's tall and I don't think I'd want to go up there and the tank itself is 7.62 metres tall. So I think that bit is the tank. I think that top bit is the tank there. Amazing. So on our Live Wet Blackpool website, I'll put you the link to the article in the description below and then you can, you can take a good look at it. Um, there are various different photographs. There's, there's some from a, a light installation some years ago when the outside of it was lit up. Um, there's photographs of the inside of it, there's photographs of it. So there's there's quite a bit more information and obviously it's managed by Northwest Well, what used to be Northwest Walker but water but United Utilities. It's a United Utilities asset, as they say. So there are two reservoirs, which is what these are here at the side of them. These two sort of mounds. Not quite sure what the what the thing is around the top of it. What's what what do you reckon that do you think they're ventilation marks or something? So these two reservoirs next to it, behind the fence, are where the water's stored. So the water comes here from the, the res up at Long Ridge and then it's pumped from the, these resers to the top of the tower. And did you know that Blackpool got its first proper water supply in the early 1860s when Grisdale Reservoir was built? And the first pipe water came to Blackpool on the 21st of July 1864. Before that, you got what you were given and you drank out of the puddles. 
an attractive building actually. The the, the stonework on it is quite quite good looking. Ooh, wobble. Let's have a wobble now and I'm gonna show you this picture of the inside. So apparently this is what it looks like inside. Um you can't actually see the backs of the windows so much. Oh, hold on, just a second. I'm dropping my gadget. It's a bit blowy this morning. Ooh. And it's it's not ideal weather for trying to show people pictures. So this is what it looks like inside. Obviously a mesh of concrete and steelwork and pipes and all kinds of different things. Anyway, you can look at them properly on our uh, Liz Blackpool website. So I hope you've enjoyed this little little tour of a of a very well known Blackpool landmark. Um Aldi B and Q is kind of over there. If you're trying to orientate yourself in the railway line. So if if you have, make sure that you subscribe to the Visit File Coast YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that little bell for notifications. And then you'll get alerts when we upload new videos and new content and we visit all these interesting little places that are tucked, tucked in corners everywhere you, you look. You can see the edge of the, the res here, look, where it's a, a distinct, distinct slope, sort of square shaped. So there you go, and that's that. So from a sunny morning at Warbrick Water Tower, we will bid you a good day and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.